Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now, today, we're continuing off here. Unofficial. I'm out. I'm just leveling up the Bacilla. We tamed up in the last video. Figured I would take this thing out and do a little bit of that. There's actually a spot right below me. I don't know if I'm going to have the oxygen to do it, but there's like an artifact down here. Don't really need an artifact, but I figured I would go check it out, see if there's any drops in this area. I've been actually searching Ragnarok for the underwater drops, like using the map and everything can't find very many of them i don't know if it's going to be a very reliable source of drops there might be a concentrated place on the map but other than that i don't think i'm going to do too much uh underwater oh my well we're coming up on a two so spawn i hope they're not like ridiculously high level i'm gonna go up here Although, if I'm dealing with these, I'm probably not going to have enough scuba to make it down there. Now, um, this has nothing to do, uh, unfortunately, with what I'm going to be doing today. I was going to do some underwater drops and stuff, but it's just, I don't know. They're just, like, really hard to find uh, on Ragnarok. I'll just have to put those together as I go through the water. Okay, yeah, he's not doing that much damage. Evidently, Tuso spawn in packs here. Oh, there's a third one. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have an issue, but my scuba definitely is not going to last long enough to make it down to the bottom of this ocean. So, anyway, what I want to do today is I want to get into some custom recipes. I wanted to get those all crafted up. It's always good to have crafted recipes around because they really help with food, and you know that I struggle with food really badly. I think his friends are leaving him to die. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep eating this one. I guess they all just left. So I'm close to a level. I figure it's a good time to make a mind wipe and then make some custom recipes. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll be right back. Welcome to our humble cooking area, of which we don't have a industrial cooker because unfortunately it's level 89 and that's out of reach, just barely of any of us. So we're almost there, but anyway, we gotta get cook up all this cooked we gotta cook up all this raw prime so that we can make mind wipes. I need two mind wipes. I'm really close to a level. Oh, by the way, I turn around and see this guy. I really want to tame one of these today. I just saw it like when I walked in, and I've I've been meaning to tame one because they're actually really helpful. They they increase your hypothermic insulation, and there's a lot of cold places on Ragnarok. So basically, if you pump melee damage on these things, it gives you more hypothermic or what? Sorry, sorry. It is, yes, hypothermal insulation. Gives you more hypothermal insulation. It's about 140 or so. It's about 140. That's about a decent piece of fur or so, I think. So he's like having one extra piece of fur, which can really make a difference when uh, going through some of these really cold areas. But regardless, we're, we'll tame one of those later, I think. But for now, we need to get these going. So, because I'm close to a level, I can mind wipe, advance my level, and then, you know, use another mind wipe on my other level. Because you can only use one per level nowadays, but oh well. Alright, now I've got everything all set for my mind wipe. Kind of annoying to get the prime, but everything else is pretty simple. I guess I don't really have stimulants sitting around now, so those are annoying. But, anyway... It is more annoying just to cook it in the cooking pot itself. Man, it is... Man, it, it brings back... It's the good old times. Making recipes in cooking pots. But the industrial cooker used to be a lot lower of a level, too, so... It's a it's a different, different uh, situation. Now, what we need is more thatch. And with this thatch, let's so make a couple of these things. Cancel out all the, I guess he comes up with this thing every time. Now we have to put the notes inside of the cooking pot to actually make the recipes. What the heck? This mind wipe should be done. The reason I'm mind wiping, by the way, is because I want to get, obviously, all of my points into crafting speed. Or crafting skill now. So I can get the best recipe possible. Alright, took my mind wipe, put all of my points into crafting skill, and now... We just have to make the recipes. So, we're doing a little bit of cooking today, making some interesting creations. I'm not I'm not doing anything too crazy. I want to do the basics, a few berry things, and then 
probably a meat thing or two. I was actually going to do one with honey as well. I've heard that honey is pretty good for these, and we've also got a ton of it laying around, so might as well put it to use. Might be able to mix it into one of these things, season it up a bit. So, for the first one, let's just do 50 of these. Think of some kind of awesome name. Amar maybe an Amar Amarzing. <laughs> Get it? Eh, eh, whatever, whatever. All right, anyway. Uh, we're going to do this one. Let's make it all like this-ish. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. All right, that, that's good, that's good. Should we even do a description? This is going to get really time-consuming if I go through and do this. Let's be real here. One spoiled. <laughs> We good? Oh, I should probably make it a water, actually. I went through all that time of making it look nice. Make. Alright, so. We've got this. Now it takes 50 and one water. And it just disappeared. Okay. Okay, that fixed it. Now, we've got our recipe. We can craft that up. And I actually prefer these over, you know, anything. Canteens normal food, anything, because they don't spoil very quickly. You can stack them in a ridiculous amount. It's just easy. Okay, let's do a berry one, but we'll do it as like a, I feel like we should do it as a, drink as well. That looks good. I'll craft this up. And then we'll get into some other ones. All right, I'm going to craft these up. I'm not going to put you through this whole process, but I don't know. They kind of, ch I feel like they've changed it a bit. Kind of simplified the whole process of this a little bit better. And I figured I'd take you through it. So I'm going to finish crafting these up. We'll be right back. All right, I crafted all the custom recipes that we are going to need, I think. I tried to use this toilet. I'm trying to flush it, but I think... I think I just missed. I think I missed the toilet, to be honest, and it's not going to work for me. So I'm going to soak up some... I already soaked up enough XP for a level, so that's easy enough. And now I can mind wipe again. Awesome. There we go. So I'll sit in here, soak up a bit more of the nice XP, and level myself the way that I need to be. All right, here we go. So this is one of the spawn locations for these otters. They are so small. I, I don't know if we're ever going to be able to find one of these, actually. I've seen how small they are just in the base, and I don't imagine me being able to find one through the bushes and stuff inside one of these rivers. And to be able to differentiate it from a fish is going to be... A challenge so hopefully I can find one of these I'm not too optimistic here's one of the spawn locations it's been kind of hard finding specific spawn locations for like Ragnarok so hopefully I'm looking in the right spots this is supposedly one of them I'm not seeing that any of them over here but I might need to like look through like the bushes and stuff I don't know um we'll be right back there's a person down here Full flak, a little bit of armor. He was just kind of like hanging out down there in the bush. All right. <laughs> Free set of armor, I suppose. Is that all he had? I think the blueprints... I, f I have a feeling these were already in the griffin. I think it was just the flak. All right, now I kind of feel bad because he had just like flak and tools. I think he was like picking berries. All right. Anyway, he didn't he didn't lose that much. I got myself a nice set of flak armor. Let's see here. This is another spawn location for the beavers. This is why I'm over here, but not seeing any over here either. I really think it's gonna be hard to find these with how small they are, and how how do they not get murdered by everything around them? Alright, I'm not seeing anything off to, I guess, 
the third spot for one of these things. This guy didn't, it's not doing too well. Something happened here. Like a torture chamber or something. Does this give me something? There's usually these on the beach, and I thought you could, like, harvest them. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Nothing. <laughs> Do you give me anything? No? Can I open the cages at least? Nothing? Come on, give me something here. Flint. 14 flint. Alright, well. Give me 14 flint. You can, like, block this place off and live here as, like, a single player or something. It'd be kind of, kind of funny to live in a torture chamber room thing. Alright. Well, I saw that. Figured I would stop by and just, just say hi to the corpses, but not too, not too profitable on my end, so I'm not going back there again. I'm just going to keep searching for these elusive otters, I, I suppose. After searching for what feels like forever, I found this one. He is black and white, though, so pretty cool. Look at how freaking cute this thing is. It will be very helpful to have this instead of having to wear fur every time I leave the base. As many of you may have noticed, I've been carrying it around everywhere. Hopefully I can find enough fish to feed this. So what we have to do is we have to find fish and then drag them to him. So we just have to kill one of these fish, drag it to the otter, and feed it. I'm going to go for the saber-toothed salmon because obviously those give the best... Is it running? Don't they usually like attack you back? Where are you going? Come back here. Um, okay. Yeah, this is going to give the most taming to these. So that's why I want to go after the saber tooth. I'm actually going to lay down one of my sleeping bags. I feel like I probably should have brought scuba. And I don't want to die, leave my griffin here, and like lose all my stuff. So let's be smart, place down a sleeping bag in this nice little ruined house. And now let's bring this fish to it. I want to see how much this does. Why don't you fight back? What's wrong with you, fish? Alright, I think it's after me now. I gotta be careful because they will drain my oxygen and kill me. Is there a way up? There we go. Oh yeah, he's making... Making me bleed and whatnot. They gonna come back? If it's only the two, I don't really have to be worried. Just wanted to make sure I had full stam. Come on, now you now you don't want it. All right, yep, this is how this goes. Okay, how about this one? Now we just gotta drag this on over. Swimming without the use of either of my arms, I guess. <laughs> oh, what? Hold up. Let me drop this one. Don't harvest it. Alright, now I got two salmon. Perfect. Alright, let's see here. Now, this is a, a lowish level otter, so let's see how much it does. Oh, you wanna fight? Yeah, he does. Oh no, I harvested it. Shoot. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully there's enough salmon to feed this, but I'm going to keep feeding it and hopefully we'll tame it soon. Alright, I think this is the last one it's going to need. Finally, I have cleared out this entire area. Once I moved on to the coal... It started getting a little bit more difficult. I didn't have too many saber tooth salmon in here, sadly. I'm gonna jump up here because I'm low on oxygen. I mean stamina. Alright, he 
should be right in this area. I lost it. Come back. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Don't really have a name for you. But you're coming with me. There we go. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. Alright. We've got personal fur. We just need one for each arm and both my legs as well. I think we should be all set. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me see. Hypothermal insulation. 222. Two, two. Without. About the same? About the same as what the other one we tested was. About 140 or so. But I'm just like eyeballing it, so don't hold me to that. Now we have to buff the melee damage on this thing so that we can get better insulation. And some of those really, really cold places that drain your HP fast, it's really going to be nice. And I could think of a few situations where we can use this for like searching for drops in the ice cave and stuff. So that's why I really wanted to get one. Now we just got to get it back to base. All right, there we go. I'm going to leave this inside. Let it just level passively for a bit so that I can get some levels into it and stuff. I might want to get its health over 88 so that it gets a little bit more resistance if it gets bit by like one thing. But anyway, that's where we're going to stop for today. We've got our recipes. We've now got an otter as well. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day and of course, we'll catch you next time.